I'm your host, Davina Shensky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. Our purpose is to teach you and inform you about topics that refer to personal development, relationships, and anything that can help you to begin to see yourself as being successful in almost everything you choose to do. And today's presentation is titled Eight Cool Advantages of Being an Introvert, Finding Peace in Solitude. Contrary to popular belief, There are many advantages to being an introvert. Introversion is a personality trait that often is overlooked or misunderstood. And in this presentation, we will explore the strengths of introverts and how they can use them to their advantage. We'll also look at how individuals who identify as introverted, can learn to embrace that quiet side and find peace in solitude. By understanding the mind of an introvert, we can all learn to develop self-reflection, emotional intelligence, and other important skills that are beneficial in both personal and professional lives. Before I get into it, I want to talk about the different types of personalities. You've got the dominant personality who feels like they can control their their own environment and everything in it. You've got the interpersonal skills who's someone that's very verbal and can easily make friends. Those are extroverts. When we're talking about introverts, we're talking about people who display the steadiness personality or literally when they work for a company, they understand the book and the knowledge and they will read the employee manual from page to page and they literally follow what it tells them. Then you've got the conscientiousness behavior pattern, and that's someone that questions everything. And those are introverts because they can easily be alone and accomplish more by being alone. Now, we have all of these behavior patterns within us, some of our strengths and some of our weaknesses. Now, let's get into the eight advantages of being an introvert. Introverts possess unique strengths that can bring valuable contribution to any situation. And the following awesome advantage of being an introvert, self-reliance. One of the main advantages of being an introvert is interdependence and self-reliance. Introverts tend to rely on their own ideas and perspectives rather than those of others, which makes them more creative and independent problem solvers. They are also likely to take thoughtful pauses before speaking or acting, which can result in better decisions. Contemplate Introverts are also known for their capacity to reflect and contemplate. They often enjoy spending time alone, which allows them to engage in self-reflection and gain insight into themselves to greater self-knowledge, emotional intelligence, and overall personal growth. Detail-oriented. Introverts tend to be very detail-oriented and analytical thinkers. They are 
often drawn to details of a project or task which tend to more thorough results by focusing on the details, they can also identify patterns of trends that may not be obvious at first glance. Now, this is someone who is a steadiness personality because that's part of their traits. Boundaries. Introverts require solitude to replenish the energy and social interaction. That can be training. They find solace in quiet reflection and analyzing their relationships. The need for me, time, tends to help introverts have an easier time of setting boundaries with others. However, failure for, to communicate their need for personal space can result in them feeling trapped, open-minded. Introverts are not typically con confined or preconceived notions. Despite their introspective nature, they may appear reserved, but they possess an open-mindedness that is characterized by warmth and hospitality. Rather than flocking to crowds, they prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions, fostering deep connections, respect personal space. Introverts tend to respect the time of others as they themselves value their personal space. They respect the time that someone invests in them and are apt to reciprocate. However, many introverts also possess a sense of discernment and avoid individuals who they perceive as insincere and untrustworthy, not wishing to waste their time enjoying philosophy. Introverts often find solace in solitude, using it to reflect, meditate, or observe their surroundings. This quiet time allows them to contemplate life's bigger questions, such as meaning and purpose. This introspective nature makes many of them skilled philosophers who are at ease with their thoughts. Writing. Many introverts prefer writing to talking. Writing allows them to express their thoughts and feelings in a more thoughtful manner. It can also help them possess and process their emotions and gain greater insight into themselves. Writing also allows introverts to explore complex topics and just to think deeply. It can be used as a form of personal therapy, allowing them to explore their innermost thoughts and feelings without fear of scrutiny. In addition, writing can help introverts organize their thoughts into tangibles, ideas that can lead to greater personal growth. Understanding the mind of an introvert. Understanding the mind of an introvert requires an appreciation for introspection and solitude. Introverts recharge 
the energy through quiet reflection and prefer to spend time alone or in small, intimate settings. They listen attentively, think deeply, and communicate thoughtfully, often avoiding a superficial, small talk. Introverts tend to be more introspective and are often drawn to exploring the deeper questions of life. They may struggle with feeling overwhelmed in social situations or noisy environments. Understanding the mind is of an introvert involves contemplation and rejuvenation when embracing your quiet side. Another advantage of being an introversion is the ability to embrace one's quiet side rather than seeking solitude as a negative. Introverts can learn to find peace and contentment in a long time. So solitude allows them to connect with their inner self and uncover hidden depths within themselves. In addition, taking regular breaks from social activities can help introverts recharge and reconnect with their true selves. This could be anything from going for a walk to in nature, to taking up a new hobby or practice by honoring their need for solitude. Introverts can learn to nurture themselves and gain greater clarity on its life choices. Being an introvert, learning to enjoy solitude, Learning to enjoy solitude is an important skill for introverts. It can help them connect with that inner world and explore their own thoughts and feelings without external distractions or influences. Taking regular breaks from the hustle and bustle of an everyday life can also be beneficial in terms of your mental health as it allows introverts to process their thoughts and emotions in a safe and supportive environment by taking the time to slow down and listen to their own voice. Introverts can gain insight into themselves and discover hidden depths within them. This can lead to a greater awareness of yourself, more contentment, and overall personal growth. Ultimately, learning to embrace solitude can be powerful as a tool for introverts for their journey of self-discovery. So are you an introvert? If so, congratulations. You have unique strengths that can be utilized to your advantage. And here's another thing to think about, that even if you're not a true introvert, it doesn't mean that you can't be introspective. It just means you have to bring up a weakness that's your steadiness personality or even your conscientious personality. And the conscientious personality questions everything. So that's also another avenue that you can explore as an introvert. And remember, every one of us have to find a way to invest in ourselves. And the best way to do that is to go to the personal success on a daily basis dot com forward slash join the seven day challenge.